Okay, let us continue on with our terrain. We're going to build our front wheel. Uh, we have our side boards made here, and I have it instanced over, mirrored instanced over. So we're going to go into our side view here, and I'm going to build these wheels inside of my side board because it's instance, and it should build an instance along with it. So let's go to our basic tab, let's grab a cylinder. I'm going to make sure it's maybe, I'm going to say 24 sides in one segment. And now I'm going to drag this out like this. We're going to make it 3.5 meters by 3.5 meters or so. And let's put this in, roughly put this in place. As you can see what I've got there, it's built an instance of this too, as I'm working. Okay. So now let's draw this out a little bit, a little thicker, like that. Now you can see my instance over there is being built along with this. It just makes things a little easier. So now, let's go ahead and drop our tool. Let's select our polygon, our front face, and our back face, and let's bevel it with the B key. And let's bevel it in a little, about that far. Then let's shift click and bevel it in a lot more down to about a little circle in the middle there about like that now let's go ahead and select these polygons here on either side and get rid of them okay so let's go to our edge mode now let's select the inner edges and we'll go to bridge them so we'll bridge these like so now let's select these edges and these edges and we'll bridge these as well now I'm going to select this middle little cylinder here and I'm going to scale it down like that right there then I'm just going to select around the outer edge and loop it just select the outer edges I'm going to hit the B key for bevel make sure group polygons is unchecked I'm going to click and I'm going to bring these right out like that Okay, now we need us a place down here. So let's go to our vert mode and let's select this vert, this vert, this vert, this vert, and this vert. Hit the P key. Now you got to select them in that order, okay? Now you see I hit the P key and it's giving me this little line right through here. But if I turn around to the back of the wheel, it's giving me this little polygon. And I'm going to select it and hit the F key to flip that around. Okay? Now you see we've got this little wood piece here. So let's go ahead and select this vert now. This vert. This vert. This vert. And hit the P key. Okay. Now this, our front wheels are going to be filled in on the back. But we're not going to do that just yet. So now that we've got that completed, let's go ahead and select these. And let's move them back out of our way here. So now let's go in here and build some suspension for this. We'll grab a cube. I'm going to grab a cube here and draw out a cube like this. Bring it up here. Draw it out about that far, I guess. That looks okay. We'll back it up here. Okay, now let's go ahead and run a loop slice up the middle, count of one, 50%, just right up the middle. Okay, so let's grab these bottom polygons now. Let's bevel them. Make sure group polygons is selected. Click, bring them down, and we're going to scale them in like this. Then I'm going to hit the R key and scale them in again like that. Now I'm going to select this polygon, this polygon bevel them out like so select this top edge there and this top edge here hit the W key and we'll pull them up some like so back to polygon mode select these polygons bevel them and pull them out a little bit more like so now let's go in here let's grab us a cylinder and let's make us a tiny cylinder right here at the top. 
like so. We'll bring it up and down. We'll want it to line up here. So about like that. Okay, we're going to bring this up through our geometry. So let's go ahead and pick this top polygon. Okay, as you can see now, I'm going to bring it up to where it's poking through there. I'm going to bevel it out. I'm going to shift click, bring it up, shift click, bevel it in, shift click, bring it up, shift click, bevel it in, shift click, bring it up. Okay, now we have that. Let's go ahead and go back to our sideboard real fast. And let's make another cylinder. Like so. We'll bring it up like this. And we'll stick it in like right there just to give it a little... look like it's being held in place right there but that's a little big so let's go ahead and shrink it down some and we'll bring it over like that and let it stick out the side a little bit there okay now let's go ahead and copy and paste it or duplicate it and bring it over to this side Like so. Now let's go ahead and bring our wheel back in place here. Well, actually, what we need to do is build in one more cylinder here. Right here. So we'll make it about 750 millimeters by 750. That looks okay to me. We'll bring it in here. And I think this ain't going to work because it's building an instance of this too. So we'll have to build this on a separate layer. Or we could just bring them together like this. Like that. And I think I'll go in off camera and build this on a separate layer so it won't be instance. It'll just be a straight piece through there. But I'll do that off camera. So now let's go ahead and pick our wheel. W key. Move it back into place here. Not like so. So now let's go ahead and select all of our geometry. Let's bring it down. About right there. We'll bring it back to about right like that. And we'll bring our chair back. I mean our wheel, our chair, listen at me. Not like so, I guess. And this stuff could even come down a little bit more. Now we'll go in, once again, we'll grab our top polygon. And we'll bevel it. Bring it up. And we'll take it back down. Like so. And I'll adjust all this up here in just a second. Let's bevel it out. Shift click. Bring it up. Shift click. Bring it in. Shift click. Bring it up. And one final adjustment here. Like 
bring it forward like that. Now we have our suspension underneath there, as you can see. Okay. And we have our first front wheel, which is the smaller of the wheels. And um, I'll see you in the next video.